My goodness, Eight, this is going to be a ridiculous seven, fight. Polywog versus five, Dread Hades, four, two of the best three, drivers in this competition, two, two of the best one, bots in this competition. Five, Super excited to see how this goes. These are both BattleBots captains. Of course, Polywog is driven by Ribot captain David Jen, and Dread Hades is uh, captained by Perfect Phoenix captain Tyler Wynn. Two incredibly tough drivers here. Wow. I've got to say, I was not expecting these first couple of engagements to go this way, but Dread Hades has taken the, the early lead in these hits. Can Dread Polywog drag it back? Dread Hades' weapon is now down, and Tyler Wynn has pushed. David into the corner, showing off the uh, the drive uh, train on Dread Hades. Polywog returns with its own uh, control here, really with the fully functional weapon. Tyler Wynn has a tough road to climb. Absolutely. This is looking very similar to their match back in July. A match that Polywog ended up winning. Now Kyle, I'm looking for the weapon on Dread Hades because it looks like it's coming back. It does, yeah, I think it has sparked back to life. And Polywog the weapon on Dread Hades is running, I think. Polywog doing a good job not letting that weapon get up to speed, though. Just staying right on top of Dread Hades. Wow, that was three pops there in the air from Polywog on yeah. Dread Hades. Wow, very impressive. 70 seconds left here in this fight. Two drivers that love to be tight and aggressive with their weapons. They really rely on high weapon speed and high weapon spin up. Wow. That gyro flip there from uh, from Polywog to get back into position was just so well put together. It's so hard to control those flips with just the gyro strap and force wow. of your weapons. But that looked like perfectly timed by David Jin. Just and a look master course of driving here. Look at this. The weapon on Dread Hades is back. It's been up and down all nice, match long. Nice, nice. 33 seconds to get as many points as he can. Tyler taking full advantage of his weapon being back up to speed. Incredible. This is a brutal match between two of the best competitors here at Norwalk. One of them will have to go down to the loser's bracket. At this point, it looks like we're going to be going to the judges with both bots working, both weapons working. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of this wow. match. I can't believe you did that to our poor judges. In the last 10 seconds, it really was Dread Hades. It was all Dread Hades. Uh, Polywog into the corner, pop after pop. This is going to be tough, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. We're definitely not doing a show of hands for this one. No. Let's go ahead and start with you, Don. Why don't you tell us your thoughts on this fight? How did that go? What the heck just happened? Yeah. It was a very close fight. Uh, Polywog dominated the, you know, the better two-thirds of the fight, I think. Uh, just getting its hits in and stuff. Uh, once, well, I, I don't think the, the weapon comeback from Dread Hades was enough to overturn the match. I, I think that it's Polywog. All right, we've got one vote for Polywog. Jack Tweedy, your thoughts? I'm in the same boat as Dom. Polywog dominated much more of the fight, and Dread Hades didn't get any lasting damage done in the last 40 seconds or so, so it yeah. really didn't do enough to come back. All right, we've got two votes for Polywog. Your thoughts, Diana? I am also in agreement with Don and Jack. I 